In this video, we're going to solve dy by dx plus 3y cot 3x equals 12 cosine 3x cot of 3x, where y is equal to root 2 when x is equal to pi over 12. Now, this looks quite tough. It's already in standard form, so we can identify that the integrating factor, r, is going to be e to the integral of 3 cot 3x dx. Now, we need to integrate 3 cot 3x. Well, that is 3 cosine 3x over sine 3x. And now you should notice that the bottom, sine 3x, the denominator, differentiates to the numerator. Sine 3x differentiates to 3 cosine 3x. So... The integral of this is just e to the log of sine 3x. The e and the log cancel, so we just get sine of 3x. So that's our integrating factor. So I'm going to multiply through by sine of 3x. So we would get sine 3x dy by dx plus... Now, cot of 3x times sine of 3x will just be cosine of 3x. So, 3y cosine 3x. And the same here. So, when we multiply this through by sine of 3x, this cot of 3x becomes cosine of 3x. And I've got cosine of 3x times cosine of 3x. So, 12 cosine squared 3x. So our left-hand sides now a perfect derivative. We can write that as d by dx of the integrating factor sine 3x times y. So I'll write it as y sine 3x. Now the right-hand side is this 12 cosine squared 3x, which we now need to integrate. So y sine 3x equals the integral of this. Now, in order to integrate this, we're going to have to use our double angle formulae. So, remember that cosine of 2x, well, let's put it as 2 theta, is equal to 2 cosine squared theta take away 1. Now, if the theta is 3x, which it is here, we would have cosine of 6x, two lots of 3x, is 2 cosine squared 3x take away 1. So rearranging cosine squared of 3x would be 1 half <coughs> sorry plus 1 half of cosine 6x. But we've got 12 cosine squared 3x. So if I multiply through by 12 we get 6 plus 6 cosine 6x. So we integrate this, we get 6x plus 6 cosine 6x just integrates to sine of 6x plus some constant c. Divide through by the sine 3x. And this is our general solution. We now want to find the particular solution using this information here. So, y is equal to the square root of 2. x is equal to pi over 12. So, 6 lots of pi over 12 is pi over 2. Then we get plus sine of 6 pi over 12. So, sine of pi over 2, which is 1. Plus c. Then we've got sine of 3x, so sine of pi over 4, which is 1 over root 2, or root 2 over 2. Let's just go with 1 over root 2. So if I multiply up by the 1 over root 2, I get root 2 over root 2, which is just 1. Subtract 1 from both sides, so I get 0 is equal to pi over 2 plus c, 
which means that c is equal to minus pi over 2. So y equals 6x plus sine of 6x, take away pi over 2, over sine of 3x. This is the particular solution that I'm looking for.